welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're a subscriber thank you really 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 from the bottom of my heart uh, so this video is going to be about nasturtium a lot of people don't know that nasturtium are amazing in the garden for many 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 reasons now here in California Northern California, we will have an extremely long bloom period on our nasturtiums, and they will naturalize, meaning they'll reseed themselves in the garden. This one I have growing on my patio in a basket. But let me tell you some things about nasturtiums as we walk around the garden. I'm riddled, by the way. So you can see down here, I have them growing all over the yard in various locations. And you may ask yourself, why does he have so many nasturtiums in his garden? And the reason is, one, they'll bring a lot of bees and other pollinators to the garden. Two, well, they just look beautiful, scattering color, you know, all over the place. The color varieties, that's a whole nother topic. You can find nasturtiums in many, many, many different colors and then often they will crossbreed and make new colors. You can have colors everywhere from this gentle peach color into super vibrant oranges and reds and yellows. And it, look at this one. I mean, they really just run, run the gamut in this color family. Another reason why you want lots of nasturtium in your garden is that they are a detractor plant. And I just made that term up, but I think it's an intelligent way of explaining what I'm going to next. They draw the aphids, a certain type of black aphids, and the cabbage moths away from your garden and onto them. And this saves your other vegetables and flowers from getting attacked by these insects. And a lot of people don't know if you find a caterpillar, a harmful caterpillar on your plants or on your flowers, you can just pluck it off and toss it and that's basically the end of it. Hopefully a bird will eat it. But if you don't have that opportunity, giving them a distractive plant for them to munch on is a really great natural defense in your garden. Another thing about the nasturtium is that they have a delicious pepper flavor. And people don't realize not only can you use the blossom in the salad that has a sweet peppery flavor, the leaves and the flowers are extremely medicinal, full of vitamin C and other vitamins and minerals. And the folklore behind the nasturtium is that it can actually stop a cold in its tracks. So if you're feeling a cold coming on or feeling a little sickly, you eat a handful of nasturtium leaves or blossoms and it's supposed to be an amazing cure-all. And what I recently learned that in ancient times, they actually used the seeds as a form of pepper. Delicious. So you can take the either the fresh seed, this is a seed pod from the nasturtium. And what I did is I collected a huge, let's see here on the plant, I collected about a cup of these. We have some friends that are real foodies. They own a gourmet restaurant in Saratoga, California called The Plumed Horse. It's a, like a four-star Michelin restaurant. I got about a cup of these. I added a couple tablespoons of white vinegar, a little bit of sugar, and I also added a tiny bit of salt and a ton of the flowers. And I ground it in my food processor and it made this amazing sauce. It actually tasted similar to horseradish, but more sweet. And it turned out, of course, an incredible ketchup or brilliant ketchup color because of the, the, the blossoms. And uh, my gourmet friends were very impressed and it was especially delicious on the chicken and beef kebabs we were eating. So those are just some of the things and some of the reasons that you want lots and lots of nasturtium in your garden. It's just an amazing plant and it will reseed itself and come back year after year or you can collect the seeds, share them with friends or resell them. I say the trickiest part about reselling them is that you're not really gonna know what color they're gonna be. 
as you see in my garden, they've really, they've really taken over and uh, diversified in their color. And that's it. I'm going to post some links below to show you more about nasturtium. And I highly recommend that you explore the plant, the flavor, both for its culinary and utilitarian uh, properties. That's it. If you like my quick, informative, money-saving tips, garden wisdom, art, home repairs, please subscribe. It helps. And I want you to take care of yourselves and take care of each other because I believe how we treat each other on the streets, that, my folks, that's the ultimate reality. Our ultimate reality. Bye for now.